Welcome to the video tutorial on ICM geometry cleanup of a control wall. This is part 2 of the video tutorial. So this is how our cleaned up geometry looks like. Now out of this we also have to delete the exterior surfaces so that we can extract the fluid volume. All that we are concerned with is the interior fluid volume and the surfaces surrounding it. So we do not need these exterior surfaces or holes for the bolts and all these exterior or external surfaces that are present. So we delete them one by one by selecting the delete surfaces option. In order to select multiple surfaces we can always use the box or the window option within delete surfaces. So we are deleting all the external surfaces which we are not going to consider within the fluid domain. We have also deleted the ring surfaces that are present. We can toggle between the display and the delete surface operation by using the toggle option within the delete surface in order to change the orientation of the geometry or display. We can use the box option to select multiple bold or holes that are present. This is the window option. So we are deleting all the holes for bolts that are there at the bottom. There is also the ring surface that is left at the bottom that we delete using the delete surface option. Now we are looking at the top of the geometry or the control wall and we select the exterior surface and we delete it. What we are left with the interior holes which we also need to delete. So we select them by using the toggle option and then the window option within the delete surface operation. All the geometry that lies within the window is selected for deleting surfaces. So after deleting the exterior surfaces this is how our control valve geometry looks like. Now we move into the next part. In this particular part the planar surface that are there we do not need them planar surface with the hole. So we delete that particular surface also the exterior ring surfaces we will delete. We will only keep the central cylindrical portion which is in contact with the fluid. As you can see we have used the delete surface option and we are toggling between the display view rotate and the delete surface operation. So we select the exterior surface one by one and delete them. We have removed the exterior ring surface. and all the cylindrical ring surfaces which were present. We also delete the protruding cylindrical surface because that is not to be modeled within the fluid volume and also this horizontal cylindrical surface that was inside that. Also this cylindrical ring surface that is left is not to be considered within the fluid volume so we delete that. There is still one ring surface that is left so we select that using the toggle operation and then delete it. The next part is this particular part 3 and within that also we need to delete the ring surfaces with holes or the circular surface with the holes and we only need the plate that is in contact with the fluid. So this is how the cleaned up geometry looks like and we save that. In this part it is already cleaned up so we do not do much of delete surface operation. 
So we save our file after this cleanup and move on to the next stage. Thank you for viewing this part of the video tutorial. See you in the next part.